so hello everyone welcome to my youtube channel i hope you guys are doing great so in this video i'm going to show you how you can create this bouncing ball animation using the blender so without any further delay now let's get started tutorial and i will also tell you how you can create this kind of shader using the ev so now let's start the tutorial so first of all i'm just going to delete everything uh pressing a then i'm just going to delete it something like that and after that i'm just going to add one spare here so for adding this spare, i will just press the shift a and then I'm just going to my mesh section and here I'm just going to add one spare. Okay, so first of all, I'm just going to move this spare above our grid. For that, I'm just going to press the G. Then I'm just going to press the Z and then I will press the control. So it will automatically snap uh, with this grid. Yeah, something like that. That's look cool to me. And I'm also going to add a shade smooth so that spare will look more smoother okay and i'm also going to enable my shortcut vr so you can easily see which key i'm pressing yeah here you can see okay so on the right hand side you can see easily then after that i'm just going to add one empty here okay i will add one circle empty something like that then i'm just going to rotate it into a 90 degree yeah that's so great okay so first of all i'm just going to make this spare as a child of this empty for this i'm just going to select this spare first then i'm just going to select our empty then i will just press the control p so here you will see here we have a new dialog box it's uh, as a set parent to as a object so here you can see when i will just move this circle so that spare will also go with them and if i will move this spare so it will go anywhere okay because this is the child and this is the parent and when parent move the child automatically going to move with them child is free to go anywhere so here you can see we can move anywhere this is spare as well okay so why i did this basically so uh, when we'll create this uh, squeeze and scores animation means bouncing ball animation so we'll just uh, you know create first uh, up and down animation of this uh, spare and then we'll just use this empty as a squashing the this spare something like that okay so we'll show you how, how we can create this so i think this part is done basically so now i'm just going to move my animation section so here you can see this is our animation section and here i'm just going to uh, my first frame first of all going to first frame and uh, i'm just going to add one camera also in this scene yeah and i'm just going to select this camera view from here okay so i'm just going to unlock our camera from here first of all then i'm just going to set this something like that okay so we can hide this camera from this viewport so we have to just enable our this uh, monitor option and then we have to just click it so now we can't see our camera anymore okay so first of all i'm just going to add one location keyframe into this spare so i will just go to my zero frame and then i'm just going to select this spare then i will just press the i and here i will just add one location frame something like that okay so here you can see we have one location frame here then i'm just going to uh, move this slider into a 20th frame and then i'm just going to add one more keyframe also one location so it will look like this okay and after that i'm just going to uh, place this slider into a 10th frame then i'm just going to move it upside something like that okay so it should be uh, four i think four is enough and then i'm just going to press the again i and then i will just add the location so here you can see we have a that kind of uh, graph here here you can see okay and if i will just play the animation so it will look like this that's look great to me so first of all i'm just going to make these handle as a free handle so for that i will just use one shortcut it's called v and when you uh, press the v here we see uh, some keyframe handle type so i will just use as a free handle so that's look something like that so now what i'm going to do i'm just going to uh, select this free uh, handle and i'm just going to move it something like that and same thing we'll do with other part as well yeah that's look great okay and now if i will just play the animation so that's look great by the way so our uh, this bouncing animation is done by the way okay now what we will do we are just uh, uh, going to set this end frame into a 20th frame and then i'm just going to start frame as a zero okay and when i will just play the animation so it will look like this here you can see that's look great to me okay 
so after that what we will do we are just going to again our uh, zero frame then i'm just going to select our uh, spear and uh, now we'll just create a squeeze and squeeze animation so so for that we have to just move our uh, keyframe little backward so we have, can just move these keyframe to a uh, 80th frame by the way so for that i will just press the z first of all then i'm just going to press the x so it will automatically snap something like that and same thing we'll do with other handle as well z and second frame okay so here you can see when i will play the animation so it will look like this so now we have a time to squeeze and squeeze our uh, spear so now what i will do i'm just going to my uh, zero frame then i'm just going to select our empty then i'm just going to my second frame and going to add one uh, scale keyframe and then i'm just going to my 80th frame here okay i should do little zoom so you can see easily numbers here yeah okay and then i'm just going to again uh, press the s going to add the scale keyframe okay and after that i will just go to my 20th frame and here i'm just going to uh, squash this uh, spear or something like that so i think 0.5 is fine to me okay then i'm just going to add the one scale keyframe and after that i'm just going to copy this keyframe and going to my zero frame then going to paste it here okay so here you can see when i just play the animation so it will look like this so that's look great also so now what we have to do we have to just select our uh, circle and here we have to select our keyframe these keyframe basically so we can select uh, from here as well yeah and then i'm just going to press the v and here i will set uh, handle as a free and now i'm just going to uh, move these handle little bit upside something like that same thing we'll do with the other hand as well yeah that's look great okay so now if i will play the animation so that animation will play more smooth and more accurate so i think that's look great to me and that animation is also looking good that ball is bouncing very nicely okay then after that what i'm going to do i'm just going to my shading panel and from here i'm just going to add one a new a node here and after that i'm just going to add one color ramp and keep it here then i'm just going to connect this color into a base color okay and after that i'm just going to add one a uh, uv node uv map node so what it will does basically so here you can see we have a that kind of uh, line here so it's basically follow this uh, uv uh, spare uvs here you can see okay so we have to just uh, separate the axis so for that i'm just going to add one more uh, node it's called separate xyz i'm just going to keep it here and i'm just going to uh, connect this y axis and then if i will just move it so here you can see it will going to separate our section something like that okay but first of all we have to just change our linear as a constant so it will look like this okay and after that what do you have to do you have to just add one more slider in between here okay then you have to just keep it this one here to here and you can just keep it here so that's look great to me by the way okay and after that i'm just going to change this color as a red color and then i'm just going to add one emission shader okay and i'm just going to connect this color to into color and i will add one more uh, node it's called uh, mix shader and then i'm just going to place an in between here and then i'm just going to connect this shader to here so right now we can't see any kind of bloom in our scene so how we can uh, add this glow by the way 
so for that we have to just go to our, our render properties and here we have to just enable our bloom and now we have to just increase the strength now we can see the bloom in our object okay so here you can see that will look like this and that's look great to me and after that i'm just going to add one plane here going to scale it something like that then i will just add uh, one emission shader okay and after that i'm just going to add a new shader here and going to keep it black and then i'm just going to increase our metallic value so it will look like this and after that i'm just going to edit mode of this plane going to select these faces going to insert pressing the i then i'm just going to uh, invert the selection and after that i'm just going to add one more shader it's called uh, emission from here and then i'm just going to assign it and i will change the color as a red color and then i'm just going to increase the strength so that will look like this and that's look great to me by the way okay so now we can see in our camera view we have to just move our camera a little bit backward something like that and uh, i think we should uh, decrease the our uh, emission strength so here you can see guys that's how you can create uh, that bouncing ball animation so right now here you can see we have just created only uh, 20 uh, frame animation if you want to create animation more than 20th frame yeah. so how you can create it so for that you have to just go to your uh, animation uh, panel and from here you have to just select your spare first of all then you have to just select your axis where you have add the animation then you have to just uh, go to your uh, your uh, modify section and if you not found this modify section you have to just press the end so you will get this slider okay and here you have to just add one uh, modified it's called cycle so it will automatically create this kind of loopable animation so if i play the animation so it will look like this okay but there is one problem here you can see uh, our squeeze and scores are not uh, working properly so for that what we have to do we have to just uh, select this our circle first of all then we have to just uh, select the axis where we have add the okay then i'm just going to add this cycle so it will look like this but there is also one problem it's not going to make a loopable because uh, our spare animation only uh, 18th frame and our squeeze and scores animation started in a 20th frame that's why it's happening so how we can rid of this problem so for that what you have to do you have to just go to your 20th frame and here you have to just add one uh, location key okay but uh, before you have to just uh, disable your uh, cycle modifier first of all then you have to just add one location key here and same thing you have to just go to your zero frame and here you have to add also a location keyframe then after that you can just enable your cycle modifier and now you will get a perfect loop animation something like that okay and now you can increase your uh, frame rate till 250 yeah whatever you want then you can just play animation it will going to make a loop and it will look like a non-disturbing animation okay guys so that's how you can create this bouncing ball animation in the blender thanks for watching this video guys if you learned something in this video please hit the like button hit the share button and subscribe my channel also if you have any queries if you have any suggestion please let me know in the comment box i will definitely reply comment so bye bye take care and stay home guys